I know your pops wanted you to come to Cali and you chose Arizona, but could there have been anybody else that almost got you? UCLA was probably two. Yeah. And then maybe Duke was three, but Duke Duke was way too far for me to go. I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah. it was, you know, I have a top three. That was my top three. Yeah. Hmm. One of my favorite coaches is, is Lou Oates. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, Every time you see him, he's like the same person with the same <laughs> smile, with the same personality. Hair, yeah. and the, and the, Her, it's always dude. perfectly <laughs> yeah. swung right. Uh, to play for a coach like that, like, and I always hear players just rave about him and how good a person he is. How was that for you to, you know, choose Lou, Lou Holtz to believe in you? It was good because going in, you know, they are already established and stuff like that. And, you know, he let it be known that, I was going to be starter coming in just after practice and stuff, and just everything. I mean, not even not even the stuff on the court is what made him a good guy. Like off the court, he I mean he he cared about you. You know, mm-hmm. you go in there, talk to him anytime you wanted, um, tell him anything, and, and he treated you like he was one of like you were one of his kids. And, yeah. and that's what made it so easy to go there. And, and uh, his wife Bobby, rest in peace, yeah. she even made it easier. You know, yeah. I was a mama's boy back then, and she just made it she just made it yeah. easy. Yeah, made it made you comfortable. Yeah, yeah. To make the run, Arizona, <laughs> to make the run for the championship. Come on, man. No disrespect, but nobody had Arizona. <laughs> I, I, we did. We were trying to. The funny thing is, we went in that joint. We went. I think we went five hundred in the Pac ten back then. So mm. we were like, damn. I hope we get in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, right. the, yeah, you know, we end up getting a we end up getting a four seed, and we almost ended up we almost ended up losing the first two games. Uh, to Carl to Charleston and maybe South Alabama. And it was just tough, you know, and Coach Olsen comes out and tells me, like, Mike, I need you to be you. Mm-hmm. You know, I was passive. I'm a freshman playing with juniors and sophomores. Right, yeah. I'm passive. And so he was like, I need you to be you. And that's when I kind of like kind of switched in my head, like, okay. Yeah. And then we played Providence, I think, first, either Providence or maybe Kansas. And that's when I was like, okay, this is what I got to do. And yeah. then that's when it clicked for me. How was that? The, like, Because NCAA is one of the best tournaments ever in basketball history. How was that to win that tournament, go through the steps and the, the rounds, see how the whole world is watching you? It was, it was good because, like you said, no one expected us to be there. Yeah. So it was kind of like we had nothing to lose. So getting there and just, okay, just go out there and play. They expect the other team to win. Okay, Kansas was supposed to beat us. And then Providence was supposed to beat <laughs> us. And then North Carolina is supposed to win. So we ended up going. So we, we really had nothing to lose. So we're just out there playing free. How was after the championship the <laughs> campus? And, uh, like it was, it, it was, the campus it was. was crazy. I mean, we had a parade like when we got yeah. back. So we got paraded all the way from the airport to the to the facility. And then we got to go into the football stadium and all the fans were whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What was that from the from the airport to the facility? That what was that action like? It was just everybody was just on the street. Pandemonium. <laughs> but we were like sitting in convertible, like on top of convertibles, and there were just lines. I mean, we're probably going like two miles per hour and just shaking everybody's hand. They were lined up all the way to the That's to crazy. the facility. That's it. There's not really much out there besides besides the U of A sports. So I remember how your freshman year and how you came back to your sophomore year, it was more like, this my shit. Like, yeah. I'm one of them. Like, I had more like con- I, it I had was a lot of confidence. Was yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was just, and like I said, the work I put in made me feel like that. Like, any shot that I took and I missed, I'm like, I shouldn't <laughs> miss that. You yeah. know what I mean? Just because I, just by how much work I put in. Mm-hmm. So you, when, before I got to, um, before I got to U of A, I wasn't really known as a shooter. I could score. Yeah. I could score from anywhere. But then once I got to U of A, I worked out with Josh Pastner, and he helped me with my shot. And then I became known as, oh, he's a shooter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, it, I mean, it was, just, it was ready to go. I mean, I, I got Pac-10 Player of the Year. Um, all-American team, so you know, yeah. nothing else for me to do.